going on YouTube and fellow apes and ape fucking wannabes or sea monkeys or whatever you want to call yourselves. Alright, we are finished. We finished the day. I'm down 10%, but I mean, what didn't that most of you know about? I mean, most of the stocks you know about are one of three. And they all kind of finished poorly. Uh, let's see. Let's go to market. Um, just so you guys know. Yes, I'm aware that I do sound kind of like a jackass on video. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's my phone. Or maybe I sound like a jackass. I don't know. But anyway. All right, let's see where. Let's see where that finished. Ah, sorry. I think it's fucking hilarious that Clove finished down 23%. I think I posted... I don't know, probably 20 comments on Clove, on Weeble, about the holdings of Citadel. 500,000 shares, over half a million call options and over uh close to about the same in, well a little less in in put options and warning everyone telling them you're playing in a citadel's hand that's exactly what the fuck they want you to do they want you to fumble over so they can save face to amc and you can fucking pay them and make them profit on the way up with their call options and with their shares and then they could dump their shares cause you to sell and then they can make profit all the way down with their put options and while shorting to, to, to make it go down 23 fucking percent when it was up, what, 22 percent pre-market. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what you get if you just ignored it and called it FUD and blah, 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 so on and so forth. I mean, come on, look at it. The, the free float difference between Clove and AMC is insane. If you think it was going to be the same thing, it doesn't matter. Well, I got a couple comments back that people are saying, well, uh, Citadel owns a bunch of AMC too. Yeah, but when Citadel owns, let's, let's say Citadel owns 5% of, I know, this is just random fucking numbers, but I'm just trying to give you uh, an, an example to go off of. Let's say that uh, Citadel owns 5% of Let's say they own 10% of Clove. And Clove has 10% free float. Well, that means they essentially own 100% of control. They own, they can control the entire stock with 10% because that would be the entire free, free, free float. So whatever they do, that's where it's going. In, co in contrast, if they own even 25% of AMC, and AMC has a 90% free, fr free float, well, guess what? They barely control just over 25%. So they really can't force it one way or the other, especially compared to um, Clove. So that's the big difference. It doesn't matter if they own bunch in AMC too. The free float's what matters because that's what gives them the control. Because they don't need to own a huge position in Clove to move it like they would AMC. And vice versa, they don't have someone on the contrary that can build a position big enough like the retail investors in AMC has to force it in the opposite direction. So they played you. I mean, they played you and they played you good. And honestly, if you lost, I'm sorry for you, but you kind of get <laughs> kind of get what you deserve if you just ignored everybody. I'm trying to warn you, um, and especially you that consider yourself apes, because you're not apes. You're just stupid. Then, sorry, but that's truth. Okay. Oh, and Clove is continuing to dump after market. Now the whole, a whole whopping another fucking 4%. Yeah, you guys are going to eat it. And yep, 
you guys did nothing but line the pockets of Citadel entire time, all the way up and all the way down. Another comment I got was, well, how are we lining their pockets when they have puts? If it's going up, they're losing money. Not unless they close their position, they're not. I mean, technically, at the moment on paper it would, but that's unrealized profits or unrealized losses. So as long as they don't close them, which they're not because they know they're going to drag it back down, so that doesn't matter. They make their profit on the call options going the way up and they sell them. Whenever they sell them, I'm sure that they sold a shit ton. And then they dump their shares, make take that profit. So that brings the stock down and then they start shorting and then that brings it down, 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 down. And then you guys start selling because maybe finally you realize that, oops, I screwed up. Yeah, you did. And then once it goes down below their put option uh, strike points, strike prices, then they close those out and make profit on the way up and on the way down. So you guys made them a fortune. So good job. And especially if you call yourself an ape, you're just sh just shut up. Because I thought the whole thing about apes was not necessarily to make huge profit. I know that's part of it and we all expect it isn't gonna happen with AMC, but I thought a big part of it was to take out these hedge funds and to expose their bullshit. Well, maybe this kind of exposed their bullshit with this fucking um, pump and dump. But I have a, I have a, I have a feeling that no one's gonna look into that. I, I just don't. They're just not gonna. Um, because that's, I mean, that's all speculation at that point. Because there's, I mean, nothing they did technically was illegal. Um, doing a pump and dump is, but it's so hard to prove. They're not, they're not gonna. Okay, that and they could say that they shared blame with the media that hyped up those stocks yeah well yeah see that's why it's not going to be able to prove to hold anyone accountable for it so you guys did nothing but lose money if you didn't sell at the top and line their pockets big time so you're not nate you suck especially if you took from amc to jump over to club if you took from AMC to jump over to Clove, you dropped AMC's price, saving, sorry. Ah, I just need right there. Um, oh, and are you guys maybe wondering why my hands are always freaking dirty? I'm a mechanic, I'm a mobile mechanic, so that, that's why I'm always working. That's why I'm usually in my shop, my mobile shop, um, it's in one of my previous videos and you'll probably I'm sure you'll see it again um, and then a lot of times you'll see me making videos in my truck just when I have spare time because I'm usually working 12 to 14 hours a day um, today I'm taking a little break just because uh, uh, a Mitsubishi ran me over not literally but it yeah it, it, it basically ran me over it kicked my ass it was a it was an engine swap but it was a lot more than just a motor swap and if you're asking how does a mobile mechanic do a motor swap, well, that's the cool thing. I have a truck that, I have a 1981 F-250, <clears throat> and I put a, uh, a lift crane, basically, on the back corner of it and reinforce the living hell out of it. So now I just take my tailgate off, back up to the side of the vehicle, take the hood off, and pull the motor, put it in the back of my truck. So that's how we did that one. So. Like most of you people, oh, mobile mechanic, you're you're limited. You have a, uh, you're limited on your on your abilities. No, I'm not. All right. Well, anyway, back to the stocks. Okay, so close. Uh, take it back up a little bit. AMC. AMC really didn't do that bad today, considering, considering just all the bullshit involved in today. I'm I'm actually kind of surprised it didn't rebound more, um, with everyone fomoing back into it but i think everyone i think a lot of the clove people just were depressed and exhausted and and didn't know what to do after they closed their position in clove so they might i have a feeling a decent amount will tomorrow or they'll fomo into another stock if you're like idiots like wish or something 
and then get pumped and dumped again. I mean, I made this list of potential potential short squeaks. Because, yeah, I like to play other stuff, too, just like other people. I'm not selling my shares in AMC, because I'm not. Um, unlike a lot of you that, I'm not selling, I'm not selling, I'm not selling. And then it's just some bullshit, like, Clove comes up, 80%, oh, I'm selling. <laughs> Clove, go. Don't sell. Jackasses. All right, so I made this list. I don't know if you can see it very well. Potential short squeezes, okay? We got... A, well, there's a, there's a reference up there, AMC, and I got uh, the list price, the shares, shares shorted, short interest percentage, and check it out, institutional ownerships. And I threw a couple of uh, ones in there that had insane institutional ownership percentages, um, just as a reference, so I know, you know, kind of what to, what to stay away from. Okay, but, you know, and to, and to show the difference in price action as I'm watching them, how they're affected during the day because I knew this was something before it was was something. That's why Clove not on there. Not 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 on there. Yeah, not even close. Not even close. Okay. So I have uh workhorse. Workhorse is, it has a decent amount of institutional ownership, but not near compared to a lot of the others. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. We got um, that, and workhorse. Workhorse is, is a funny one. It, it could. It could make it turn around very quick, very fast, with some good. It, you know, with some good updates on um, their manufacturing or or dates, or you know, if they've ramped up manufacturing where they said they would be. I mean, I think it could really make a big turnaround. Um, but it, it would it would take some good 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 news. Um, and it, it could happen, so I'm keeping an eye on that one because that one's down 65% from its recent highs. Um, so I kind of think it's at its bottom right now, and it may just float around there for a really long time. But it may just shoot the hell up at any second. Um, <clears throat> I'm not saying it will, and of course it's in financial advice or whatever. I'm just saying you might want to keep an eye on it because it is heavily shorted. It's got a 38.57 short interest percentage. As of when I wrote this down, I'm not going to tell you what it is this second because I don't have that kind of time. Um, they have a lot of short, uh, shares shorted, 47 million, uh, 47 and a half million, sorry. Um, and it's at it's at a good price where it's not necessarily, I mean, it's going to take a lot to push that sucker down now. I mean, it's so down from its recent highs that, yeah, it would, it would take some really good news to make it jump up to make those uh, make them clear out their short positions but at the same time it's kind of a safe bet to play just on the side in the background because it's going to take a lot to push that sucker down even further than what it is um, okay another one I got here is since I mean that sucker just had good news too and you've seen how it jumped that one uh, that one day uh, just a couple days ago really uh Actually, well, uh, we'll just come back to that. All right, let's see. Uh, let me quote. Yeah, um, well, can't tell you where it is right now um, or how it finished today, but I bet not not horribly. It did have a pullback after that big jump, but, I mean, out of all, I mean, out of a lot of these possible short squeezes that a lot of these other YouTubers have thrown out there or the media or CNN BC or or that cluck um uh Kramer uh, Kramer's all right he just he's, he's just a he's just a little bitch he just oh, you hurt my feelings I hate you guys oh no I want to be your friend oh He's just fucking weirdo. He's like a woman. He's moody. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Don't, don't hate me, women, all right? I'm just saying he's... It's like he's on his period all the time. All right, so I got the uh, uh, CCIV. Same thing. That's kind of in the same boat as his workhorse. It's going to take a lot for it to go up or down at this point. But it could. Shortage percentage isn't, that, isn't nearly as high. But... 
it might just be another one to tuck in there with workhorse on the back on the back side of your portfolio or something. One more, uh, actually, yeah, there's a couple more that I really like. Um, this, see, this one doesn't have a huge short interest percentage, but it's had a decent run as of recent, and I'm not sure if they've covered. That's Atos, A T O S. Yeah, you know what? I think, yeah, I bet they did cover. So never mind, scratch that one. All right, um, Bed Bath Beyond. I mean. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's another clove. 98% fucking institutional ownership. So don't do it. Don't get caught with your pants down again. Same thing with Twink. Twink. T-W-N-K. Twinkie. Um, for Hostess. Same thing. 118% institutional ownership. If you jump onto that, you're just stupid. Alright. The other... I really like P-E-I. Okay. PEI is on its way up, and it just hit a hit its 52-week high recently, and I think that's why it's such so heavily shorter is because they think, oh, it's a peak, so we're gonna short shit out because it has to go down. I think that would be a good play. I think that'd be a really good play if, if um, per se, after AMC, after AMC finally squeezing they close their positions, I think then, then and only then, we should transition to that. Because that would be huge because it's 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 not a negative stock in any way shape or form and they just started shorting it and they shorted the living shit out of it too right away so we're catching them early so they're screwed they i mean you catch them early they're gonna freak the fuck out but if they've been in there shorting it for a long time they're gonna be okay well let's go to battle but if you catch them early i don't know i think that i think i think that would cause some some turbulence all right, the other doo -doo -doo -doo. see even AAL American Airlines, even that one would be a hundred times better play than Clove. Idiots, because yeah, that one only has a thirteen percent short interest, but the shares shorted is eighty four million. I mean that's up there AMC level, not percentage wise, but the the amount of shares that are shorted, and it. it it's only got 51% institutional ownership. That institutional ownership is not, you know, um, not really going to be hedge funds. That's going to be long-term. That's going to be like BlackRock and uh, Kathy and and more uh, long-term institutional investors like that. Another, another that I there's two more that I re well actually three more that I really really like, and it's G O E V. Yeah, now it's only got 12% short interest. Um, but, I mean, the the shares available, I mean, it's only a quarter million. I mean, we could fill that freaking volume, no problem. Um, and it's, it's institutional ownership isn't nothing. I mean, nothing. It's, not, it's 9%. So that one would be a good one. Um, and there's one more that I, okay. Uh, Blink. Blink, yes, but I don't know. Blink, Blink's just we, Blink's been a very fucking weird stock ever since I've first seen it. Um, it's down thirty nine percent from recent highs. Um, quite, quite well, not quite recent, but fairly recent. I mean, since February or March, I believe. Um, so it's definitely at a discount right now. So it, it's one. It's kind of one of those ones that can't really go down too too much more than it already is. And it's, fuck, it's short interest is 30, almost 31%, maybe even more by now. Um, the same token, the shares, the share number is it's tiny. And tiny, I mean, there's, there's not much available. But the institutional ownership isn't outrageous on that either, especially for how many shares are available. It's at, uh, institutional ownership's at 27%, and the shares available is at 35, uh, 36 million or some, something like that. So, I mean, that, we could, uh, that, any one, you know, any small, even small community could take that float in a heartbeat and squeeze those suckers quick and easy and hard, too. Um, that one, so that one I really like. Um, it wouldn't be a huge amount of shorts because there's only, you know, 13 million or so shorted, but those 13 million shorted, you could push way up in force and it'd be easier to force that because you wouldn't have a million freaking paper hand jackasses in there going, oh, another clove. 
All right, uh, and my second personal favorite, my personal, okay, actually, it's hard for me to say. I like PEI, that's my favorite. Second favorite, BNGO, uh, Bio Nano Genomics. I got in that early, at the first run, back um, when it's news about the Cypher system came out and so on and so forth. I mean, that one, that one is just, it's not gonna go down. Not not any way, shape, or form long term. Yeah, I may go down tomorrow, whatever. But it is going to be the next big thing. I mean, it's it's compare biggest comparable stock is at two hundred fifty dollars a share or something like that. And in every way, shape, and form, their system is better. And they're proving every single day, coming out of articles every freaking day about it. I mean, it is going to get up there, regardless. It's going to get up there. I don't. It's gonna. There's no way it's not. And I'll put money on that. I'll make someone a bet if they want to. Um, and that one's shorted at 15%. I'm sorry, sorry. That one's shorted at 13% as in it, when I got this down. Institu institutional ownership is 15%, but there's no hedges in there. Especially no hedges with puts in there. It's all uh, black rock, Kathy type, bullish long-term investors because they know that sucker's going to be a gold mine later. Um, and same thing, the share count is low, so it'd be easy to take up that um, the float. Easy. And like I said, it's at a good it's at a good discount too right now. And it's it's just not going to tank. It's not going to tank. I don't know why there's that many short interests in it. I think just because they're like, oh, I think there was a big moment in these uh, institutional in, in these hedges that they just sat down and went hey um, we're going to short every freaking meme stock every hype stock that there is back in January and February and they did too they, as soon as they got way up there in their little runs they shorted the shit out of all of them and they're still holding them a, a lot of them for some reason they're stupid I guess um, so I think like ones like that that actually have a good foundation, good fu fundamentals, and good future, jump on them now. Why not? I mean, it's gonna get there eventually, so we might as well push it there now. Um, and those are ones that we could squeeze and hold, literally long term, because they're gonna get up there. It's not like GameStop that you push it up to two hundred fifty, you know, five hundred dollars a share drops to two hundred fifty, and it's somehow staying there. It's not worth that sorry it's not i don't care i don't care what they say and if you're an ape still in gme thinking it's gonna squeeze again <sighs> save me the preaching okay you, you you're, you're not an ape you're just an idiot i'm sorry but um and if you're oh well, i'm trying to save the company it's gamestop i mean yeah okay yeah we need yeah save every company or whatever but i mean fuck save uh one that's in cancer research or um, in green vehicles or green technology or tech or something that's going to benefit the world or something that or something that has a little meaning or a good comp or a good positive company, but not like GameStop. I mean, come on, get your head out of your ass. Ain't that important? Sorry, I said what I ne said what I needed to say. Okay. All right, and the other thing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I was going to say, ooh, AMC's uh, dipping a little bit more in, in aftermarket. And I think that's just shorts. And these hedges taking advantage of, this, of the overall sentiment of, uh, of all the apes right now. Because you guys don't know what the fuck to do. Jump back in AMC, hold, and let's actually squeeze this. You know, we keep, they keep thinning out our community. And they're doing a very good job of it. Why? Because everyone's, oh, paper, lemon pepper tendies. What the fuck is that? Remember pepper tendies? You shove those up your ass. I'm sorry, you're just kidding. Bro. Those, that's fucking stupid. I'm not going to come up with nothing fucking stupid like that. Just to get views or whatever either. And then I'm not going to turn in my super chats. Super chat. Thanks for super chat. Super chat. Thanks for super chat. You can take your super chat and shove it. I'd rather take your super chat and put it into AMC and leave it there. All right, you know I'm done ranting. Thank you. This is my opinion. And uh, yeah, just buy AMC and hold and just, just 
quit FOMOing, quit being an idiot, and yeah.